get a load ready before we do any filming. You don't want to try it out before you stick clothes in it? Well, I want to have brave the clothes girl. ready to go. So ah. that I don't turn it on, on and get it all ready. You don't want to get it and, excited. And then I got to get the clothes ready. Okay, but you think you got it? Think I got what? You got to figure it out. No. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, I'm going to show you how we got it hooked up. I'll figure up. it out as I go. The right in here is where the old washer sit. It said right in here, filled this whole area. It was a $800 or $900 unit. Well, it broke, naturally. And it had hot and cold water going into it. So we're going to just use the cold water. You can see it right there. I got that. Naturally, I have extra fittings. I always buy extra when I'm out. So that's hooked up to the cold now and goes right into here. Now I put one of my quick connectors on here, so it's easy. We don't have to screw that on and off. We just push it together. It's got water in it now, and it's holding the pressure. Now then, your exit water hose is right here. It barely fit, but it fit up there, and it should go right down through there. And uh, I don't know where it goes. <laughs> That's one thing. I'm going to go out and watch, make sure it's going somewhere besides filling up my uh, black tank. I think it's uh, gray water, but I'm going to go watch when she's doing this. Right now, we got her plugged in. She's going to put some clothes in it, and then we're going to give it a try. This is where it's going to have to sit for now. Once we uh, get, uh, you can see our clothes with overfull. This is probably where it will ride once we can get move that chair out of here and leave that back up in Idaho. Why is this wet? And that's because I spilt water. That's why it's wet. <laughs> Because I had to test Vicky to find out which one was hot and which one was cold, right? Oh, yeah. Not so stupid now, am I? <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, she's going to load it up, then we'll hit the button and record it doing something. Okay, what did you just say? I wasn't, wasn't recording you. It says not to use very much soap. This is the only tool I needed. You need to level it. I brought the level in, but I really don't need to level it because the floor is level. Because the RV is level. And it started to tell you we've moved that other than out. Now we filled it up with other junk. So we and we didn't want to spend the eight nine hundred dollars for one to go back in there. This one's portable. It's got wheels. Like I said, we'll just roll it right over here and store it here. There's her uh, solar dryer, and uh, it'll be stored right back next to it, uh, secured. And we will. Uh, that's how we'll transport it. But we also will. There's a thing that came in here that keeps this from moving. We will save that thing and drop it in there every time we go down the road. So, now then, she's going to get busy. Going to get jiggy with it. You pour the soap in. And we found out you don't program it with the lid closed. Right. You leave the lid open. And then you hit... Let me get over power here. it on. Then you're going to select program. What, what different programs you got there? Press program. You have heavy, gentle, normal, rapid, and soak. So I'm going to do mine on normal. That's the way she is, guys. Normal. And then you select a load size. And I want three, which is large, or there's two medium and one small. But I want three. Okay, there. So one is small, two is medium, three is large. Okay. Then you go to what's that button? Wash. Battery went dead on that second button there. So on the rinse, that's two rinses. I want one rinse. You can go up to four, it looks like. So one rinse. And spin, I will let you select how many minutes you want to spin from zero to nine. I'm going to do, we'll do four minutes. And the second one was for, uh, what was that? Wash, how long you want it to wash. But we already set that. Yeah, we can't do it because we set. So I think... The way I'm finding this to work is that you set these, then you set this. Although the directions said to 
push program first and then press these. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't seem to be working that way. You select these, then you select the program. Okay, well, let's see what happens. That's how it's working for us. Yep. And now she fills water. Well, as you can see, she's working fine, doing the countdown. That's on spin. I think that was on spin. Is that wrench or the last one? That's spin, wasn't it? So, there you go. Should beep when it gets done, doesn't it? Oh, probably can't hear a thing I'm saying with that going. That's quiet. That's not. Well, this is about one load. Because we don't want to overload it. So we got about, uh, what do we got? Five, six t-shirts there. Extra large t-shirts. Washed them quite well. But uh, maybe you could cram more in it, but we don't want to. We gotta make it last.